Hello everybody. Today we are going to do the listening and speaking part for lesson three. The topic of today's chapter is be positive, be happy. The schedule for today's lesson, we shall begin with seven words of vocabulary. Then we have five key expressions that we want to practice. Uh, then we are going to do a little listening exercise and then a speaking practice for you to try at home. So here are our seven words um, with the Korean translation. Uh, so the first one is spend. So spend time with your family, for example. The next one is stress. Um, then we have relieve. So I will relieve your stress. I will take it away. I will make it go away. That's to be relieved. Uh, then we have focus. So when I'm focused on just like one task. Uh, we have improve. Uh, so that basically means to get better at something. Then we have memory, so how well you're good at remembering things. And then we have appearance, so where where more, um, how you look, how something looks. Okay, so now we have our key expressions. So let's read through them. I'd like to talk about dot dot dot. What makes you think so? Uh, what makes you say that? Then, as you can see, dot dot dot. And the last one, so dot 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 at the same time. So let's go into detail for each one. The first one I'd like to talk about. So my examples. I'd like to talk about our maths homework. So you are with a friend, you have to work together or you want to bring up the topic. I would like to talk about our maths homework. Or I'd like to talk about the environment. Or I'd like to talk about sports. I'd like to talk about our plans for this weekend. So you can take any subject, any topic, and say, I'd like to talk about dot dot dot. So the next two are quite similar. Uh, what makes you think so? And what makes you say that? So let's do think so. Um, another way of saying it is, why do you think so? So what makes you or why do you? Um, so now a conversation example. Someone says, I think oranges are the best fruit. What makes you think so? They are sweet and sour and full of vitamin C. And that's why oranges are the best fruit. Or that's why I think oranges are the best fruit. Another example for what makes you say that, or why do you say that? So, homework is pointless. What makes you say that? I don't have enough time to play computer games after finishing my homework. So that's why he says homework is pointless. Uh, the next one, as you can see, dot dot dot. Um, so I've shown you a picture. So generally with, as you can see, if the other person can see something, then you'll just say, as you can see, this is happening. So as you can see, uh, no one likes Facebook anymore. So I've drawn a little line where Facebook is making less money, as my example. The other one, I'm showing, or he is showing you a picture, and then there's a line that's saying, going up. So as you can see, 
people are much happier now. So these are just simple little examples. The last one, dot dot dot, at the same time. So never use your phone and drive at the same time. So you must never do it together. And another example, so you can see she's studying and listening to music. So, I can study and listen to music at the same time. So, here let's move on to the listening exercise. I've made a URL for you to copy. Uh, there's two this time. One if you're in class one and two and the other if you're in class three and four. So we are going to listen to the dialogues. Let's start with dialogue one. I'd like to talk about esports. I like esports. What is your favorite game? My favorite game is StarCraft. StarCraft is great, but I prefer PUBG. The graphics give a better appearance than StarCraft. Okay, I hope you got that. Let's move on to dialogue two now. I miss school. What makes you say that? I like to spend time with my friends. And learning is easier with the teachers. I agree. It is easier to focus at school than it is at home. Okay, and finally, let's do dialogue three. As you can see, I really like reading books. Sometimes I will read and listen to music at the same time. Wow, you have so many books. I wish I could read more, but I read so slowly. If you read more, you can improve and read faster. Which book is your favorite? I don't know. There are so many that I love. You must have a very good memory if you can remember all these books. Okay, so you may listen to these as many times as you like. I have tried making sentences that include all of the vocabulary and key expressions for today's lesson. So if you are a bit confused, sometimes it is easier to go back and read or watch the vocabulary and key expressions again. Let's move on to the speaking practice. So this is an exercise from your textbooks on page 56. So step one, choose a famous person that you look up to. So they can be now or back in history. Uh, anyone is step two write down some important things that they have done and then step three fill out the template provided so the template is this over here so you can see hello today i would like to talk about dot 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 and then we have job nationality famous work, and why I admire them. So let me show you my example and I'll explain. So step one, choose a famous person. So my famous person that I admire is Ricky Gervais. That's a weird name. His job, um, he is an actor, a comedian, a writer, and a director. Uh, his nationality, so what country is he from? He was born in England, so Yongguk, Yongguk I think, yes. Um, 
What is his famous work? Or why are they famous? Why is he or she famous? Um, so he has made some very popular movies and series. And then why do I admire him? So he is very funny, he is very humble, and he tries to make the world a better place. So now that you have filled out those five details, um, we can practice saying this all together. So let's go. Hello, today I would like to talk about Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais is a famous comedian, actor, writer, and director. He was born in England. He is famous for his movie The Invention of Lying and his series The Office and Afterlife. Ricky Gervais is a very funny man who is very humble and tries to make the world a better place. So, step four is read out loud for your friends or family. So, this has been lesson three, the speaking and listening. I hope that was easy to follow. Um, I hope that you are doing well and I shall see you all very soon. Bye-bye.